Okay, boys and girls, happy Wednesday. Today is May 27th. And see what we have going on for today for reading. You guys are going to create some curious questions. <coughs> so you will need an electronic device with sound, a nonfiction book of your choice. Um, and you can either, you can write right on the document using Doc Hub. Um, if that doesn't work for you, I know some people are saying they can't get the Doc Hub to work. You can always um, do it on lined paper. And if you want to just email it, that's okay too. <coughs> So you're gonna use the five W's to help you think of questions and information that you might wanna learn more about. So you're using your W questions, who, what, when, where, why. For writing, you're gonna continue drafting today. So you're gonna pick up on those same slides that you were working on yesterday. And today you're gonna to stop after completing slide 13, all right? So you're going to have to go into your Google, into the waffle, into your Google Slides, and open that up from yesterday. So you will need an electronic device with sound, um, the slides from yesterday. Do not turn it in, okay? You will be drafting your second subtopic today. So make sure you write in complete sentences. Check it over and um, hold, hold on to it. Don't submit it yet. Foundations, trick words, you know those are my favorite. So you need an electronic device with sound, your Google slide worksheet, and your trick words are early, ocean, and favorite. So remember, you're gonna look at a word. You're gonna look at early. You could write it down. Hmm, what's tricky about the word early? Early, right? We don't hear the A. The Y sounds like an E, okay? Then sky write your word. Keep your arm out. Nice and stiff, support your elbow if you need to. You're gonna spell your word. Then you're gonna dip in some color paint of your choice. Close your eyes and you're gonna sky write it again and paint a picture in your mind. And then you can either use a little whiteboard, a little chalkboard, or if you don't have any of those, doodle it on like a hard surface and then trace and erase to practice your trick words. And for math, okay, that assignment was up there yesterday. Um, so you're going to be adding three or more numbers. So this is going to be day one of it. So you need an electronic device with sound. You could print out the workbook page or write it on paper. Um, there's a home link and IXL. So you're looking for digits that add to the friendly number 10. That will help you when you add more than two numbers together because it's tricky when you have to add three or more numbers, definitely tricky. So you wanna make some friendly numbers. And then social studies, you can continue with your American symbols, your videos, your um, Google Doc, your quiz. All right, so let's head into our classroom and <coughs> your checklist is there. Here's Wednesday's checklist. You can peek at that. <coughs> so today, um, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me just move this. Because this is what you're doing today. 527, all right, so I put it at the top for you guys. So, when you go on, let me refresh. Switch this so that the one that you have to work on today is up at the top. So you have addition. Nope. See the flow there. Addition with four two digit numbers. So there's a video that you can watch. Have a paper and pencil handy to complete the work as you watch the video. And then there's a home link and the math box page. And then there's IXL practice, so specifically G16. So that's the one that we want you to go on today. Okay. And for writing. Okay. So today, Wednesday, up at the top. 
<clears throat> so informational writing should have lots of facts. Facts are always true. Authors use headings to organize facts into sections. The heading tells what the section is all about. Yesterday, you wrote about one of your subtopics. Today, you will focus on completing a draft of another section, another subtopic. So please continue working in the slides you used yesterday. You do not have to turn anything in today. So if you go into your waffle and you go into your Google Slides, for you guys, it's probably going to be the, one of the first things that pops up. For me, it probably won't be because I have a lot of other things in here. But normally when you go to like recent presentations, you'll find it here. And it's going to have everything saved that you did yesterday. Okay, so yesterday we went up to slides eight and nine. So if you needed nine, you continue typing on nine. If not, I said you could have either left it there or deleted that extra slide. So today you're doing 10, 11, 12, and 13. And you're gonna see that when you get to 14, it's gonna say drafting day three at the top. So you, you don't wanna go that far. So you wanna stop. So we are here. And there's a video of Mrs. Smith. Just pause it for a sec. So there's a video of Mrs. Smith. And again, she's going to go through for you. She models exactly how this is done today. So watch Mrs. Smith's video. Then. <clears throat> Here's a sample. Here's heading two, parts of the computer. And then you're putting your second heading or your subtopic here and your facts. And then if you need more room, <clears throat> you can continue writing it here. And that's it for today. So similar to what you did yesterday. So you're just focusing on another topic. So um, <clears throat> Like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people are doing animals. So yesterday, if you said, the, you know, animal features or what the animal looks like, and then you wrote about that. Today, maybe you're doing what the animal eats. That's your topic, your heading. And then you're going to write all about that. Um, <clears throat> habitat, where they live, whatever your subtopics are, your headings, continue working on another one today. And then you don't have to turn it in because you're going to continue again doing the same thing tomorrow and working on that again. So if we continue scrolling down to reading. Here's our curious questions. So um, nonfiction books, right? They're always teaching us. That's the author's purpose, right? They're informing us and they make us curious. We want to find out more information. So there's a curious question sheet here that you could fill in each box with questions. You could write on the document using DocHub. So um, there's a video here that I created showing you how to fill this sheet out. And I even use DocHub in the video. Okay, so I don't have to show you how to use Doc. Well, I know I showed you how to use DocHub in the past. But as a reminder, if you forgot how to go to it, remember it's like you when you go to the right side of the screen it's this you see those three little dots like the hot dog it's going to be like up here you click on that and you have to open a new window and i actually i do it in this video and i show you i would show you the video now but it's a little bit long because i read a little passage called m m's and then i go through the curious question sheet so <clears throat> so here's the sheet so i wrote right on this for you and there's a the little hot dog right there. You would click on that. So you're going to answer these questions about your book. Not answer, sorry. Write questions. You're going to write questions 
in each box about something that you want to know more about, or something that you want to learn from this book. So you go watch that video. And your foundations, you're going to sky write your trick words two times, early, ocean, and favorite. All right, and then you're going to fill out your Google slide. Graph the trick word by placing an X in the column each time you see the word in the box. Then count how many times you found each word and mark the total on the side of the page. Hint, count up all the words in the box, your sum, your sum of all your totals on the side should equal the total in the big box. So that is a hint for you. So I'm pressing view assignment. My Google slide is here. Okay, where those question marks are, that's where we're going to put some of the X's. And when you're done, X out of it and press the black turn in button. And then you could finish up anything from your social studies that you didn't get a chance to do yet. So you have your two videos, both five minute videos, your Google Doc, I would do first, and then save the quiz for last. So I know some people already handed this in, that's fabulous, okay? So label the American symbol, type one fact about each. Make sure to complete both pages. The third page has a word bank if you need. So here's your symbols. Now label it, put a fact there. Okay. We will not use all of these words. They are just here to reference. So there's a word bank if you need it of the symbols. Okay. And then you're going to turn that in. And then you have your quiz. And that's everything for today. Let's take some questions now.